time for some journaling. In this video, I shall be working on my travel journal for the trip I had in February 2020. It was the last trip before lockdown and I went to the north of England. I flew to Newcastle, had the whole day there, then went to Sunderland. Next day I went to York, then the day after to Durham and then on the last day I flew back to the Netherlands. When traveling, I don't just have adventures and take photos and you know make purchases but also like to keep all the receipts that I have and grab different information booklets that museums or malls have. Sometimes shops have business cards or promotional leaflets that are usually really pretty and I like to get those and bring them home and usually a bit quicker than a year later I like to do something with them. My preference is to do this in little booklets just because one booklet is like one item that you can have in your bookcase next to your planners and it is sort of nice and contained. This little booklet was from Carpet and Planners from Simple Stories and I counted off the number of pages and divided that through the number of days that I was away to the north of England and I have plenty of room to use all these lovely scraps of paper that you see. I will be using a combination of receipts and tickets and here you can see me cutting up a information booklet that was I want to say near the train station or at least in the tourist information point. These are usually free and you can grab them and they are super useful when you're in a place you haven't been before but they also give you the loveliest of photos and for instance this photo in the bottom left of my booklet I would have never been able to take so thanks for that information booklet. I also like to include photos and of course leave enough room to write and then fill up some of the holes with some cute stickers that match the sentiment of that day. This booklet has 48 pages so 48 divided by four, four days, is 12 pages per day. It also meant that I had six different spreads to spread out all my days. So super duper, lots of room to paste down all kinds of bigger pictures and bigger images. So that was both really fun because I had all the space that I wanted, but also a bit scary because that's a lot of white space to fill. But with washi and stickers and also some stamps and photos and then of course all of the mementos that I gathered I think I got there. So with this page I actually started with that piece of yellow paper that you see here and I stuck down my ticket from the bus on there and on the back side I stuck down some photos from the information booklet that I grabbed and of course some photos that I took myself. On the left page I started with the schedule of the bus <laughs> that we took and finished off that page with a gorgeous photo of York Minster. Then here on this right page you can see me moving about some different photos that I had. This red card was in one of the shops and it's just a perfect pop of colour and I am going to combine it with the white and gold lips, also part of another gift card. I'm just cutting them down a bit with this adorable tiny little pink cutter. I love it. It's so easy to have in these smaller kind of projects. And when I'm happy with the composition, I stick everything down with water soluble uh, glue, which does not damage my paper. It does not damage my mementos and it sticks down really quickly. I think I got this glue at one of the events I attended in the UK. And the other glue that you see me using is more like stick glue it's a bit thinner it's a bit easier on this softer paper so that works out really well then in between i like to write down some of my thoughts and memories and then i finish off these pages with a tiny little sticker in between i noticed that i didn't have any more photos so here you see me printing them on my trusty polaroid zip of course the photos i needed to cut them up as I printed four photos to one page. The Polaroid Zip definitely is not the best little printer, but it's sort of my trusty friend for the last five years, I think. And it is a fickle beast for sure. It prints quite dark, it qu prints quite orange, but I have made it work. And it's such a fun extra layer of memories to have some photos in my little travel planner so you know why not 
you just saw me add some photos and here I am just counting to see how many more pages I have and how many more giant photos I can add. Well, I had more than enough room. So I'm starting here with this only in York image that I cut out of a information magazine and again using some of these gift cards and um, business cards that I found in the shops to spice up these pages. The journal that I'm using is a cahier size and even though it's quite small I still really like to use these sort of big images and big movements and really play with scale. So here on this page I am just filling it up with three quite chunky pieces of memento but you know why not I can still write around it I can still add some photos and it really gives me the feeling of the day as well not just the photos or the mementos or the information and then here on the top left I'm using this empty space at the top to put down some of the photos that I took of our day in York and it's really fun to see you know all the little details of that day that left page definitely needed some more filling but because of the large photo with only in york and the large photo on the right hand side i didn't want to use another big thing so i'm grabbing this heimawashi with the cute little houses yes they are amsterdam canal houses but i think they quite work here and one big sticker with good stuff writing some information down and then I use this yellow paper again to show to signal that sort of a new chapter of the day is starting and I'm just decorating that with this logo that I cut out from a Betty's pamphlet. Betty's in York is like the place to have afternoon tea and I'm so happy that I was able to have afternoon tea there it was absolutely delicious. Just cutting off some of the excess there and then these two pages are again almost done. Just writing down some notes here and then also on the top right I am writing down some things. And I want to say that I will be, yes, I will be adding some stickers here as well. And then these pages are again filled and then on to the last one. Speaking of Betty's, I just decided to make a whole Betty's spread. Oh, it was such a nice experience. Betty's is such an institution in the north of England, in York. And even though we were in Little Betty's, as the big Betty's, the original shop, was just so full and the waiting times were really, really long. It was such a fun experience. We were on the first floor, so that's the, not the ground floor, but the first floor for my American viewers. So one level up and we were looking out over the uh, attics of the old buildings of York. And we had the most scrumptious afternoon tea with little uh, sandwiches and scones or scones and then we had this discussion if you do jam first or cream first and it was just oh, such a fun memory and yes of course I grabbed all the different menus and I think already like Christmas or Easter or Mother's Day uh, pamphlets that they had lying around so I could cut out all these lovely cakes so we didn't have all of these cakes but still and there was a compliment card that I asked to take with me and on the bottom left of these pages you could have already seen me <laughs> uh, stick down the little napkin that was under my teacup for during the afternoon tea so yes I take my travel journal journaling memory keeping very seriously and just all these little elements make make this booklet successful I want to say. Of course I could not not use any of my own photos so one of them is on the right page and this one I'm just cutting down and sticking it down on the left page and this photo was actually the discussion of do you put jam on top or jam on the bottom of your scone and I had this whole discussion and I also shared it on Instagram and I am very sad to say that jam on the bottom jam first lost so yeah not too happy with that but other than that it was a delicious afternoon tea and it's just so fun to make these pages in my travel journal and really mm, be able to think about it and almost taste the lovely cakes and sandwiches while i was chatting away you've seen me create lots of layers so different washi tapes i've 
put under one of the cards. Here I am adding some of the um, booklet photos, also cutting off the excess as always. And then now I am adding on some cute gold stickers and writing some of the text in the white areas. This is a little fun thing. I really wanted to use this chocolate cake, but I really did not have any more space to put it. So I made one of these flippy flappy things. That's probably not the technical term, but I still use it a lot, giving me just an extra bit of space to add this gorgeous photo. And then on the back, I have either space to write or I stuck down something else still. Just giving me that extra space. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> this was actually the little piece of paper that was on the tea pot that I had my tea in. So yes, I grabbed that as well. Anyway, it's giving me just that extra layer of space and it gives some funness to this spread. Just writing down some final notes and then my three pages are done. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.